This is the question of uh, 2017 October November paper 1 2 and the question number is 7. So it's a bit tougher question. The velocity time graph for a train starting at one point, one station and stopping at the next is shown. This is the graph. So this is time and this is the velocity. Another train has doubled the acceleration but the same maximum speed and the same deceleration. So we have to find which velocity time graph on the same scale shows the motion of uh, the second train between the same stations. So first, uh, let us uh, see here. Uh, the second train has got double the acceleration. The second train has got double the acceleration. So that means uh, the slope of the graph while accelerating should be double. Slope of the graph should be double. So here, the slope is, so if I count here, it is, uh, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the slope or gradient is equal to 8 divided from it is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 by 4 equal to 2. So that means now if uh, acceleration is double, the slope should be 2 into 2, 4. So here, if we calculate here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this is 2. So here, 8 by 2 is 4. Here also 8 by 2, 4, 8 by 2, 4, 8 by 2, 4. All of them qualify. It's okay. Then, uh, if we look here, the, the uh, maximum speed is constant. So everywhere it is constant. Everything qualifies. And here, we have got the same retardation, same deceleration. So slope should be same. So if you look at all of these things, the slope is same. Then what's the difference? The difference is that the trains are moving between the same stations. Both the trains are moving between the same stations. That means the distance that they have traveled should be same. So in a VT graph, the distance is given by the area under the graph. So now what we have to do is the area under this graph should be equal to one of them. So let's find this area. So as we know, uh, the area of a trapezium will be so the displacement s will be equal to its area so it should be 1 by 2 into the perpendicular the height actually so it is 8 8 and then it is the sum of sum of this side and this side so it should be from here it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 plus from here it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so it is 11. So that's equal to, this is a 4 into, it is 16. 16 into 4, it is 64. So it is, if I use a simple SI unit, it is 64 meters. Now we have to calculate in which of the graph, in which of the graph, the uh, displacement will come out to be 64. So if we see here, is there a possibility of being 64? So let's calculate this. If I see this area, this area and uh, this area, they seem to be equal. And this, this area, so let, let me shade it like this. Let me shade it like this. This area and this area can also be equal. Can also be equal because it is 5 here and it's 8 here. But definitely, this thing and this thing cannot be equal. So this cannot be a correct choice. In the same manner here also, this area can be equal to this. Can be equal to this. But uh, this area, this area can definitely, the, it's less than this area, this area, this area, this area. So this area is uh, definitely less than this. And again, this area is also less than this. So, definitely not a chance. But in these two, uh, they stand some chance because here we have got this area. This area is less than this area, but uh, that can be compromised by larger this area. So, this area is smaller and this area is larger. This area is larger. So, we have to go for these two. So, let's calculate its area. So its area will be equal to, let me do it here, this is for SB is equal to 1 by 2 
the height is definitely uh, 8 and this is from here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 plus from here it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it is 10 so it should be 4 into 10 6 16 equal to 64 meters so in this case the area is equal to the whole area is equal to this area so this should be the correct choice and definitely uh, in this in this uh, figure since uh, this thing extends a bit more this area should be larger and it can't be equal to 64 meters so that's why choice number b should be the correct choice